Hey guys, this is Malinki. Welcome back to my channel, Voice of Malinki. Today we will talk about synthesis of protein hormone. And if you are new in my channel, please subscribe my channel. And if you like my video, please do like, comment and share my video. So, in the nucleus, the gene for the hormone is transcribed into an mRNA. The mRNA is transferred to the cytoplasm and translated on the ribosome. Translation of mRNA begins with a signal peptide at the end terminus. Translation ceases and the signal peptide attaches to the receptors on the endoplasmic reticulum. Translation then continues on the endoplasmic reticulum until the entire protein is produced. This time the protein product is known as pre-prohormone. The signal peptide is removed in the endoplasmic reticulum. Now the pre-prohormone becomes a prohormone. The prohormone contains the complete hormone sequence plus other peptide sequences which will be removed in the final step. These other peptide sequences in the prohormone are necessary for proper folding of the hormone. The prohormone is transferred to the Golgi complex where it is packaged in secretory vesicles. In the secretory vesicles, proteolytic enzymes cleave the protein. This time, the prohormone produces the final hormone. Other functions of the Golgi apparatus include glycosylation and phosphorylation of the hormone. The final hormone is stored in the secretory vesicles until the endocrine cell is stimulated. So this is all about today's lecture. I hope you liked the lecture. Thank you for watching my video.